hello guys welcome to this edition of um, self defense with master king okay as you can see right there he's trying to do some lifts and other things with one of his students it will really be a very very nice video to watch a very nice very nice experience you have today so and uh, oh i remember master ken was trying to say that he wants to shoot a video of um what is that again um how to win a fight okay this is a part two yeah this is a part two how to win a fight in like two seconds yeah so it will really be a very good one to watch be like something very interesting for us to really see so you can really follow me to see master ken and let us talk to him Like, want to be part of this video because we really know the video will be really interesting. Like, all right, all right, all right, all right. We are going to let's get down to it immediately. All right, okay. when I said that, I wasn't joking, I meant it. So, actually, we are going to start with a direct punch, okay. working both ways in case he happens to be a professional or a layman. Okay. So we are going to understand both ways. Now, as a professional, it's going to come with exactly. Exactly. Yes. <coughs> you see that this thing will be like a, a professional in an lemma so but because according to what you said in the first video, how to win a fight, you had to do with a lemma and like I said, a street guy yes. who was trying to fight with you. But so now why now why are you not putting the professional into it? Because a professional fight that has to be like okay, let's say professional to fight with you, this has to also be a professional too, like at least to help yourself. Because there's no way professional will fight you like without maybe do some counter move that you may think you know. So okay. things like that. So I like, think so why do you have to bring in professional inside this other one? Because this uh, from the regular this guy issue like that. So alright. Now it's going to be simple. The action will explain uh, will give you the answer. We'll explain it all because I will only give a little brief why it's uh, why I said uh, a, a layman and a professional because you will not expect the same action from a layman okay to equate the action with a professional a professional is attack is will definitely be quite different from um, a layman's attack so when we go on from the actions, you'll be able to think and decipher for yourself which one, which of the attack is a professional, comes from a professional and which one comes from a layman. So let's get on. First of all, you're going to take the front strike. And of course, it's not easy for a layman to take a strike from the front hand and straight punch at that. Okay? And let's see this. Bye! That's just in a split second. But we are going to take it slowly. For most of us to see. Go. One. Those two hands. Go. One. I convert this and I strike this. Alright. So that's slow enough for us to understand. Alright. Now let's take another strike. This time from the rear hand. Alright. I am uh, assuming a natural stance. Now take your strike from your rear hand. Yeah. Good. You see that? Take it very sharply. Go. Good. Fine. The first thing is you have to make sure you are out of the punch. Out of the punch. Go. Alright, let me make it slow. Take that again. Go. One. And here. The strike here. Also understand, come up. Of course, if you ask him, he will tell you how he's feeling now. It goes here. Now, how are you feeling? Good. So, it is not a child's play. Now, that is another strike that you will decipher them who can give such strike. I mean, I, I'm not talking about the counter, I'm talking about the attack. Alright, now let's see another strike. A hand house strike. Ready? Go! Ah! 
from here, if you want to follow up with anything, you can do that. But if you're certain, you can leave him alone and find your way. Now come up again. We take that again, slowly. Go. I move and I come back. The same force, the force is like a pivot, like a spring. He takes the strike, go. Print and I come back with a strike here. All right, come up. We're still going to take that same form of attack and a different counter. I take it again. Go. Sir. Pa. How's that? Come over again. And let's take that slowly. Go. Move back. And this here. Either you, you might decide to use open hand strike as the knife hand or the hammer strike. Whichever one you choose to use is devastating. Okay. Now let's see the form of which of course the layman we want to do. We'll take that of the layman and take that of the professional. So let's see any of them. Go ahead. Hey. Yeah, you can do anything you want to do. You don't waste time. Pack the leg immediately, you start in. Now take it again slowly. Come, you go palm as you land. Pam there. Pack it up. Alright? Okay. Now let's see. The same technique again, the same attack again. You go. Boom! Hey! Alright, that was to the groin. Now slowly. Go. Step out. While stepping out, pam. There. Pam there. I can add this if I want to. Pam there. It's okay. Alright? Okay? Now let's see a professional kick. Kick from a professional. Ready. Go. Boom. Da. All right. Now take the kick again. Go. This is what I do. Pam. There one. First thing first. I step out. Step back. I step out. Go. Sending the kick that way, then I return this. Boom! Alright, come back. For this counter, you have to be very, very sweet. Because, as, like I said before, the attack of a professional is very smart and sharp and coordinated. Not that of, uh, diff that is far different from that of the layman. All right. Okay. Are you coming? About the attack, but no. Some people like that. I know those. Most people are born with some reflex. Kind of ability. They have yeah, reflex is very high. So, but um, so all of those that do really have some reflex, but you don't really expect them. Like as I may be doing an individual, I somebody I'm not really interested in matter how they shoot. It's just due to the problem of the streets and other things and like you know, watching the stuff the and stuff. And I'm not somebody that like I want to start saying I want to train, do all this push up, do all this finger push up, all this sort of thing. Like my daily match, all of them. So I'm not like somebody that I'm not just some people. So how will I be able to build the reflexes that when somebody is now between like let's say I face a professional in a fight now and the guy now come with that kind of fast kick. You understand? So now how will I be able to have this reflex that I will now have to dodge from the key before the key reach me with that kind of speed. So that's what I try to like ask that our viewers here who is listening or is watching can be able to get it and understand or let's say way to know what to do when in that kind of situation. Okay, okay. Now the question you're asking now is is quite elaborate. So we might not digest it all, but I'm just going to give a few brief a little tip on it. The, to gain reflex is not a day job. 
Gain reflex needs there's a, there's a training process for it over the time to gain that reflex. So I, and it is until after you've gained that reflex that I bet you should be able to just do what you say. Because with the reflex, you'll be able to blend your mind and your eyes together to effect what is coming. Because whatever is coming is interpreted to you by your mind, your eyes, your mind, and with the reflex that you walk in, you take the action immediately. So we will not, it is very elaborate, so we will keep that in view until next time we'll be able to really elaborate because it is a fast system. So, like I said, it needs time, it goes over time for you to gain actual reflection. Alright? So, so far, I hope you are okay with what you've seen. Yeah, very, 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 very,